all adventure riders from around the world. It is so nice to see the sunrise and after 15-20 minutes to be able to ride on the dirt roads. Nice, isn't it? I have been asked so many different things, but two questions always sit on the top of the list. How I can afford to travel on these long motorcycle trips and how I combine this with my family. If you're interested from the answers, stay with me. Welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Pavlin and I am a motorcycle traveler. In this channel, I usually upload anything related to long motorcycle trips, so you might consider subscribing. Also, press the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I usually upload two videos per week. Back to the questions. How I can afford to travel on these long motorcycle trips and how I combine this with my family? To be able to give you the right answer, I will need a lot of time, but I will try to be as brief as possible. Many years ago, I had this idea to make a round the world trip. I'm riding motorcycles since I was 14 years old, but around 15 years ago, this idea stuck into my mind. I made a plan how to do it. I even calculated everything. The estimate cost that I get to the numbers that I got at that moment was around 45,000 euros. And I planned to visit five different continents, not just go like that. I calculate everything, even the shipping from continent to continent. I had half of the money and I planned to sell some properties or find sponsors for the rest of the money and I thought that it's going to be a very good idea to see the whole world and finally complete my dream. The idea was good but the reality was a bit different. Believe it or not but the part with the money was the easiest. The most difficult part and I guess it's going to be the same for you is how to leave the family for such a long period of time. Because in my plans, it was at least one year, at least one year, maybe more. Another big problem was that my kids were still young. How to leave the kids for such a long period of time? It is very, very hard decision. I know that many of you, maybe you, my watcher now, got the same problem and you don't know how to solve it. So I realized that, as I said many times, the reality and functionality are two different things and they never really work together. So I realized that I have to give up my idea, but because it's me, I am what I am, I cannot just give up. I decided instead of going and making this around the world trip to find a different approach. And this is what I'm going to tell you now. I have found that there is another way to complete my dream without the need to spend the money and the time that I did not have. If you're on the same crossroad right now, you have to understand and accept two very important things. The very first is that you don't need to rob a bank to travel with a motorcycle. In your family, if they love you, they're gonna support you in all of your decisions. The second is that only you're the person that can decide how you're gonna spend your life. If your decision is to be around your family 100% of the time, let it be. There is nothing wrong with this. But on the other hand, if you decided that months or two are not going to hurt anyone, I cannot see any reason why you shouldn't do it. I'm sure that even your health will understand it and support it. Of course, you have to work for this balance. And when I said that you have to work for this balance, I didn't mean only to inform her that you're going. No, it doesn't work this way. Women are different. They need time. You need to convince her first that it's very important for you something that you really want to do it from a long period of time and secondly you have to show her your respect your love and give her enough time i have very very long and detailed video you can watch it here the audio is terrible video is very very old but it helped so many people include me to execute all of my trips so it's really worth your attention with this being said let me now tell you some important things that you probably never told from my experience or from what I have seen in my life, in the Western world, 50 euros or 50 dollars are something like uh, the normal pocket money or everyday money that you spend here and there. Starbucks, cigarettes, coffees, maybe a little bit of petrol or some uh, light snack with friends. But this is what I have seen in America, in Australia, in New Zealand, in Europe, everywhere. So this is about right price, around 50 euros or 50 dollars. This is like pocket money, the money that you have spent every single day. 
So far, so good. But now most of you don't know or have no idea how much a long motorcycle trip costs. From my experience, again, everything is from my experience, or at least this is how I travel. It cost me around 50 euros per day in Europe and around $50 per day outside of Europe. So if you just spend a few minutes to think about it, it's exactly the same. There is no difference for me to stay at home or travel. I spent exactly the same money. So if I can afford to live my everyday life in my home place, or if you can afford to live in your home place, that means that you can afford to travel. The difference is between me and you that I do it and you don't do it because you don't know how much it is. And here some people may stop me and say, Pavlin, hold on a second. It's easy for you because you live in Europe, but let's say in Asia or in, in different parts of the, the world, like South America, $50 are a lot of money. That's correct. I understand that $50 could be a lot of money in South America or Asia, but the life in South America and Asia is way more cheaper, which is mean that you don't need $50 to travel around Asia. If you don't have money, if you're Asian and you don't have money to travel in America, you can travel in Asia. There's so many beautiful places there. Or the same for South Americans. I hope that you get the idea. And here I expect a light resistance. Some of you might say, Pavlin, hold on a second. If you have today 7, 800 or 1000 kilometers, only the petrol is 50 euros. What are you talking about? You said 50 euros for everything. That's right. If I have today 1000 kilometers, only the petrol will be 50 euros. But I have a question for you. How many days, one after another, you can ride 1,000 kilometers? Maybe one month or maybe two months. Maybe you will cover the whole trip by riding 1,000 kilometers per day. If you do it, yes, absolutely. The money are not going to be enough. But in reality, it's completely different. And I have calculated this so many times. So you're gonna have many days off, you're gonna have many days with two, 300 kilometers, you're gonna have days with 50 kilometers, and it is the same with the hotels. Yes, if you pay for a hotel every day 50 euros, the money are not going to be enough, but there will be a days with the tent, there will be a days with the hostels or hotels with cheap prices. And finally, when you finish your trip, you just draw the line and you will come exactly to the same conclusions. Of course, it varies from person to person. Some people travel very cheap, some people travel like Arabian Sheikhs. But this is an average price and the price that you can afford. So if you're here to watching this video, how I, I can afford to travel with motorcycle, that means you're not Arabian Sheikh. You're just looking for solution. And this is the solution that I just gave you. All right, with everything that I just told you, Let's go back again to the idea that I wanted to see the world, but I realized that I haven't got the time and the money to do it, and I found a solution. Do you still remember this? I hope yes. I understood that if I only change the way I do it, it will be absolutely possible. I can do it with a minimum budget and still be around my family. Sounds great, isn't it? So I decided, instead of going on these around-the-world trips or these so, so long trips, like six months or one year, I can make it on different stages. I can go every year to a specific destination. Let's say this year is going to be Europe, next year is going to be South uh, America, and the year after that is going to be Australia, New Zealand, and without any more doubts, I start my trips immediately. Every year I was completing one of my dreams. I was sitting at home, opened a big map and decided, okay, this year I will go to Central Asia, for example. And I tried to save the money that I need. And it's turned out it's not that difficult. First, because it is not that expensive compared to the everyday cost that we have today. And I was able to do it. That simple it is. Of course, you have to sacrifice something, like you have to sacrifice your Starbucks coffee or your cigarettes or whatever you want to sacrifice. But at the end, it's worth, it's worth all the efforts, everything. Of course, now it's much easier for me. I have this YouTube channel. Thanks to all of you guys. You helped me to grow up the channel. Now I have sponsors. Now I have different opportunities, but it wasn't like that. I'm a normal person, like 99% of you. And I start my trips exactly like you, by saving money and make a trip and next year again and again and again. And now I can afford to travel even more. 
I never been a fashion rider. I never really feel that I need an expensive motorcycle to travel. My goal was and still is to see the world. I can see it with this motorcycle. I can see it with expensive motorcycle as well. I can do it with cheap gear. I can have it with expensive gear as well. Okay, now I thought I have these opportunities, but it wasn't like that. So my friend, next time when you decide to ask me or someone like me how I can afford to travel, better just ask yourself, am I ready to sacrifice something and jump into the unknown or I prefer to live my normal, simple, safe daily life? And when you've got the answer, you don't need anything else. You don't need me either. And the last thing that I want to tell you now in this video is that yes, it is absolutely possible to be adventurer and family man at the same time. It is even a big pleasure and even your family will appreciate it. As long as you follow the steps that I told you. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you want to learn more about long motorcycle trips, check the rest of the videos in the channel. I have more than 600. If you want to learn, but you don't have the time, you can consider joining my online course. All the details are in the description down below. As usual, ride safe and see you next time. Ciao.